Just a few words uh, before we go tonight. The American essayist and philosopher Ralph Waldo Emerson once offered this advice. Cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and give thanks continuously. And then he added, because all things have contributed to your advancement, you should include all things in your gratitude. In his words. Now, in almost 45 years of broadcasting, 35 years on this TV station, close to 29 years in this chair and the one before it, a great deal of good has come to me, and tonight I am full of gratitude. I was in the beginning blessed with very good and ethical parents and a wonderful family, my children and people who have loved and supported me. I had the immense good fortune to get a good basic education from teachers who also encouraged me to develop the skills that got me into a newsroom where some real professionals put up with me, taught me a lot more about news, and then I ran into employers, managers, news directors, who were among the mentors who guided me to new opportunities and then granted me the freedom to do pretty much what I wanted to do the way I wanted to do it. And through all of it, I have stood on the shoulders of colleagues on both sides of the cameras whose work has often brought me credit I just didn't deserve. And in recent years, first among the many, are Julie Caswell, Bill Dix, Leo Carter, and Joanne Clancy, who have produced this broadcast. Sitting here is a tiny part of it. They do all the hard lifting. And none of it would have happened without all of you who've listened and watched as I, in the words of the great Edward R. Murrow, agitated the air. Many have kindly sent cards and messages and texts and tweets and even a few mementos about the way I've agitated the air, for which I am moved and grateful for all of those things, all of those people, all of you people who have contributed to my advancement. I again say thank you. Have a good evening and be well.